This is Carrie Lyons of the Biology Survey 1 class, and this is my COVID tracking data for the, for, from September 24th to today, which is the, which is October 30th of 2020. So I did, I've been tracking the data between Sully County and Meade County of South Dakota. Meade County has, as of 2019, has a population of 28,332 people. And Sully County has as of 2018, has a population of 1,392 people. So, this affects my tracking process because of the size difference. Mead County is way bigger than Sully County, and it will influence the results of my COVID data. And I, and, and this is all of the data that I've had in my process. As you can see, most of Sully County barely had any cases, really. And Mead County had a lot of cases. And so, with the graphing, when I get the graph pulled up, I've been having a lot of technical difficulties with my graphing. Okay, here's my graph. And the trend line for this is Meade County, this blue one, and the red is for Sully County. In the process, the positivity rates have very well changed throughout my tracking. And there are outliers on both of the, for both counties. And for those outlier points on my graphs, I feel like if I removed them, the graphs would change very drastically. As you can tell, that the highest point for Meade County is towards the very start of the tracking process. And for Sully County, most of the higher ones happen in the past month as cases, as more test results came in. And this past month, since I've been tracking it throughout this whole month, the more tests that have been done in both counties, the more cases happened, but not as many in Mead County than in Sully County. Sully County has gotten worse. And according to this website for the New York Times, 
us in South Dakota have not been meeting the goal of the testing for daily tests. We're way low. And so our country is not meeting the testing targets, and it does vary by region. This information for COVID-19 testing in the U.S. influences my project because it shows how much our country is doing which leads to how much each state is doing, and especially South Dakota. The information in the website has might influence the public versus healthcare professionals versus government officials will vary will influence very differently because each one has a different has different data I suppose I'm not really sure about it Anyways, it's very interesting with tracking my home county, Sully County, versus Meade County, because all of this information has added up to being a big impact of South Dakota as a whole. So, yeah.